Hey guys, welcome to the channel and what we have here today is a pretty big deal. So these are the up and coming Jordan 1 reimagined. Um, I received these from this seller right here, shoepop.ru. There is their information. They did give me a discount code. The discount code is non and that's going to be for $15 off your order. So there is their information. I will also pop up their Instagram right here. All right, so yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll get into this review. I know it's been a long time since I've done a shoe review, and uh, I am happy to report that I have a couple more coming up. So yes, including a shoe that I've been trying to get for the past six years. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to doing a review of that and having a pair of those. Uh, you guys will see that review probably two weeks. Um, they just shipped out. Actually, it might be next week. But yeah, we'll go ahead. We'll get into this review. So we're going to go ahead and we'll take a look at the box here. Um, also, I apologize for the lighting. I don't know how this looks on camera. Um, the lighting in here is not the best. And I'm shooting this in 4K 60 FPS. And it won't let me use the light on my camera. So yeah, I apologize if it's kind of dark. But this is the label right here, Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG. Uh, the colorway is FD, or style code is FD1437612. I don't know if that's correct. Uh, the colorway is red, white, and black. Again, I don't know if that's correct. Suggested retail is 170 Don't know if that's correct. Uh, they do have the QC stamp right there, which just looks like a bunch of smudges. Your Nike symbol. Inside the box, just some paper, and that's it. No stock X crap. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll take a look at the shoes, and I will say right off the bat, these things look pretty damn one for one. Uh, yeah, so they do come with a pair of black laces. Um, I apologize for any, my nasty cracked fingers too. Um, they come with a pair of red laces. They come laced up with a pair of white-ish cream lace no nah, they're more white than cream uh your midsole is your standard jordan one midsole uh the bottom of the shoe though that's what's different and in my opinion is kind of stupid um they kind of just make it old and dusty looking i don't know why they decide to do that you're not going to see that when you're wearing them but hey that's Jordan brand for you. Um, I mean, this is really just a Chicago, basically, reimagined. Uh, the reimagined part is going to be the white paneling here. It's kind of got that cracked look to it, like those, uh, I can't remember what they're called, but they're the, they're the Volt Yellow Jordan ones that just came out. But yeah, they got that cracked paint right there uh, they got the crack paint like what actually is on the old 85 Jordans well now it is since it's all cracked uh, on the ankle collar here uh, they do have the 85 style uh, debossed embossed debossed I believe it is wings logo and as you can see it kind of it's pops out instead of being sunken in that's 100% correct. Uh, in terms of shape, I don't really care. Um, yeah, it doesn't have the hourglass shape, but that's going to go away with wear. Uh, the sh shape overall, though, looks really good. That swoosh looks great. That toe box looks great. It's nice and curved. It's not too high. Uh, the cut of leather... I'm going to try not to get my fingers in on the screen as much as possible because they're pretty bad right now. Just dry hands, and I just moved literally two days ago. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> uh, the tongue, you got this, which I don't, honestly, I don't like the tongue on these, okay? It's like a very, very light pink color. It's not even a cream. It's looks straight up pink and that's because the foam underneath it is like a peach color uh your tag nike air looks nice and crisp take a look at the text right there 
nice and crisp. Your shoe tree. Inside of the shoe, you have the, see, yeah, this would be a good time to have a light. Nike Air, um, hold on a second, guys. Uh, okay, I'm busting out the flashlight. There we go. Going old school, not high tech. So, Nike Air, and it's just a standard white uh, insole, but it's actually blue. Just that crappy foam that they always use in Jordan 1s. Uh, take a look at the tag if it'll focus there. Size 12, style code. A production date of 3-30-2022 to 5-17-2022. I don't even know if you can really see that. Yeah, I mean, it is basically just a pair of Jordan 1 Chicago's with a little bit of flaky paint on it and actually you know what the side panels and the toe box aren't as bad as i thought it was going to look i thought it was going to be like really cracked looking but honestly it doesn't look bad and i don't mind them i just don't i don't like that tongue i don't know why they didn't just go with the standard white tongue on it uh the leather quality overall eh i mean it's not the best I mean, it's decently thick. It's a decently thick cut of leather, but I mean, it feels pretty plasticky. Um, kind of in, kind of just standard Jordan One leather. Um, in terms of midsole flex, there's a little bit in front. Uh, that's how it's supposed to be, and the back is completely solid. So, good midsole or a good sole period on it. Take a look at the other one. Again, the debossed wings logo. Looks good. You have that cracked paint on the anklet. The cracked paint on the mid panels. Perfect swoosh on it. Cracked on the toe. Toe box looks good not too high it's got nice nice curve to the heel of it that nasty bottom sole which looks like somebody jizzed all over it or like you stepped in dust yeah i mean overall i do not mind them at all um, I was very skeptical of them when I saw the pictures of it. Um, it is a very low effort by Jordan brand. I mean, I honestly don't know why they just didn't come out with the regular Chicago's. But it is what it is. So yeah, guys, that is about it. Once again, I received these from Shoe Pop. Uh, go ahead, check them out. Uh, their Instagram is shoepop68. Um, I received these things quick. They shipped them UPS. Um, I had them within, I want to say, four days. Something like that. Um, yeah, overall, good seller. Good pair of shoes. Check them out. Uh, once again, my discount code is going to be NON. Uh, with the capital N. N-O-N. And that's going to be for $15 off your order. So check them out. Um, in terms of other reviews coming up, I will be doing a review tomorrow um, of a pe an item of clothing. Um, and then probably again later this week, um, another item of clothing. Um, I'm thinking probably next week or this weekend, it'll be another pair of shoes. And then... Uh, yeah, I'm not sure after that, but I do have two pairs of shoes on the way and a crap load of clothing. So that is it, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, found it informative, please make sure to hit that like button. Uh, if you aren't subscribed to my channel, please make sure to hit that subscription button. Definitely, please make sure to hit that subscription button, guys. Um, 
And uh, if you guys want to get notified, please make sure to hit that notification bell to be notified of when my next video drops. With that, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was informative. Uh, let me, I, I'd like to hear your thoughts about these things down in the comment section. Uh, are you guys kind of disappointed that they didn't come out with the original Chicago's? Are you disappointed they didn't come out with the 85 cut Chicago's, which is what everybody thought the reimagined was going to be, even though I knew it wasn't going to be. Uh, but yeah, what are your thoughts on that? With that, guys, I'm out.